Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I know I am. Today is our 79th podcast today. And today, what I want to talk about is manifestation. Okay. We're coming up on the new year. It's becoming, you know, we got only got, got a couple days left, right? So I want to talk about manifesting because I felt like this has kind of been a big, um, like topic that I've had to deal with myself and kind of, I've had a lot of questions from other people of actually how to manifest things. And so I'm just going to kind of talk about it. We're going to kind of talk about what manifestation is, and then we're going to kind of talk about the benefits of manifesting. And then I want to kind of go over how you're going to be able to manifest yourself and literally manifest anything. Okay. And, um, we've kind of gone over this for, um, several uh, podcasts in different ways, but this is specifically about the manifestation, okay? About meditating, praying to get to that point where you're manifesting um, everything that you specifically want in your life, okay? So what manifestation is, is it's essentially the act of feeling something that is yours and making it real, okay? So regardless of what's going on in your life, you always are going to have, sorry, I had something on my chin. <laughs> um, regardless of whatever you are, wherever you're at in your life, you have the option of making it a reality. Okay. Like, uh, you can probably, you probably hear this from a lot of different, um, motivational mentors out there. And specifically <clears throat> we can make things real by literally speaking it out loud by by actually speaking things out loud and what this is what this is okay speaking things and and um, thinking about things okay manifestation is also bringing something tangible into your life through attraction or belief okay and I know a lot of people are like this isn't gonna work this doesn't work I'm telling you for a fact it's worked for me and I know that it definitely could work for you especially more going into this new year um, we could actually manifest certain things um, to become a reality, okay? Um, it's not like if you're going to specifically ask for something, it's going to always 100% be there, but now you're shifting your mindset and your focus towards something that you're going towards, okay? And um, that's kind of what prayer is as well, okay? But, all right, so the benefits are... When you actually start doing this, um, you will begin to believe in yourself a lot more. The world, um, the way that you look at the world becomes actually brighter. And what I mean by that is you actually feel a lot more hopeful when you're actually going through the manifestation. And um, this also helps you get a clearer, bigger picture of actually where you're going towards. What are your dreams? What are your goals? I always kind of preach that. I always preach, you know, you need to find your dreams and goals. This one can I paint a better, um, clear picture of what those look like for you. And um, they'll give you a better, like, um, path to get to that point. Okay? When you become to manifest things, you're able to actually put things into perspective as well. Okay? And that's, to me, that's extremely important because now you can understand exactly where you're going, but you can also put it into perspective and understand the whole process it takes to get there, okay? It also helps you feel less stressed out and overwhelmed because now you actually have a plan, you have a dream, you have a goal, you actually have a path to get to that point, all right? And this also boosts self-confidence, okay? For me, it definitely has boosted self-confidence. Um, so for me, how I manifested things is I started to meditate. And we're going to got to go over the steps of how to manifest, it, um, manifest, it, manifest whatever you want. Um, but what works for me is I meditated and I said, you know what? I said my affirmations. To me, the affirmations are extremely important. And so add that to your meditation, Okay. But I meditated on whatever I wanted daily, and I still do it today. And um, I, I urge you to understand that whatever you kind of manifest, you it can become reality, but you need to keep focus on it, okay? You, you need to be extremely um, 
motivated in that factor and keep keep manifesting something because if you quit manifesting something like even for one day sometimes it'll put it off if that makes sense so before we get into this just understand that this process is going to take time it's not an overnight thing and you have to actually believe in the process if you don't believe in the process your manifesting is not going to work in your life okay so just understand that we need to have um, a very patient manner when we're manifesting and understand that this is going to take some time okay <clears throat> all right so get your pens and papers out right you guys ready all right number one okay i want you to get a clear picture of what you want okay what are your dreams what are your goals all right i want you to write down a list of 20 to 30 things that you want to manifest okay where this this can easily be um so as some examples is I want to go on a trip across the ocean. I want to I want to go to Europe for the from from being in the United States. A lot of people want to go to Europe. A lot of people want to go um you know, they want to go to the Caribbean. They want to go you know, to a lot of different places, right? So, I want you to manifest that. So, if you want to go a specific place or you want to become a certain thing, I want you to manifest that. If you want to become an athlete, if you want to become a motivational speaker, if you want to become a coach, if you want to become a teacher, if you want to become a firefighter, if you want to become a cop, I want you to write 20 to 30 things down that you specifically want in your life. I don't care what it is, all right? And you need to understand, you need to tell yourself that it's okay to want these things, all right? The reason being is because a lot of people get into the mental aspect that Oh man, I don't deserve this. I, you know, I feel guilty for putting these things down and actually wanting material things. And and I could tell you just right now is it's okay to want. It's okay to want specific things, even if they're material things. It doesn't mean you sh you should feel guilty about it. Okay, so stop feeling guilty. I always have this big talk with my clients and people just that I mentor in general that a lot of people feel super guilty about actually wanting things. There's nothing wrong about wanting things at all. Now there's there's some um, there's some negativity and some evilness in some of it. Yes, I can I can I can understand that. But it doesn't it's not bad to actually want things. Okay, I know the Bible says you no know, not to not to uh, you know want every everything in the world, you know. Or, or want your neighbor's stuff, and that's that's understandable, but it does not. It's it's not. It's still okay to want stuff. Okay, so just understand that it's okay to want things, even if they're, you know, material things. All right. So please write down your twenty to thirty things that you specifically want, and get specific about it. What I mean by specific is. If you want a specific house, okay, you could you could get real clear and just say, or you could be unclear and say, I just want a house. Well, at how like just getting a house could be a 500 square foot house or a 250 square foot house. You know what I mean? So get detailed. If you want a 600 thousand or 6,000 square foot house, or you want a 3,500 square foot house. Um, for a big family or whatever, write that down. Write the square footage. Write how many levels you want. You know, if it's a car, write detailed. Write the model of the car that you want, the engine size you want, whatever you want, and literally write it down in detail, okay? If it's a certain m amount of money, um, don't just put on the paper, I want to be rich, okay? Write down an actual money figure. If you want to make a million dollars, write down... I want to make a million dollars, okay? I literally want you to put down as detailed, detailed, detailed as possible, possible about these 20 to 30 things. It's gonna take you some time to do this, but write as detailed as possible for each and every single one, okay? The more detailed you get, the better you're able to actually achieve these things, okay? Number two is ask the universe, okay? What I mean by that is, <clears throat> Once you have your 20 to 30 things that you want to um, manifest, the 20 to 30 things that you want to have, whether it be a dream or a goal or a physical thing, I want you to start meditating, praying, 
um, visualizing or creating a dream board every day, okay? So let's talk about the meditation side of things. I always, I, I love talking about meditation because it's been, been, uh, been a big part of my life and um, have been a big part of my business as well and just helping myself manifest the things that I want. So meditation is super simple, okay? You know, obviously look up, if you don't know how to meditate, you know, find a way to meditate. Go find someone that's gonna help you meditate Specifically, what has helped me is I take between five and seven deep breaths with five second increments. So you breathe in for five seconds, and then you hold for five seconds, and then you breathe out for five seconds, okay? I do that between five and seven times to get into my meditative state. And then I meditate between five, 10, maybe 15 minutes. It depends on my day and how centered I am. I meditate on, um, my gratefulness for just being on this earth. I meditate on just being um, grateful for who I am today. And then I kind of meditate and I think about how my body feels. I think about where, what is important in my life, what's not important in my life, what's my focus. And then after my meditation, what's extremely important is during that manifestation, you could visualize these 20 to 30 things as well, but don't let it take you and get you carried away with obviously being grateful and stuff. But right after my meditation, right at the end of it, I start to manifest those things that I want. Okay. I say my affirmations out loud. Okay. Um, for me, a big thing was getting a certain number of clients. So I've always said, Hey, um, I'm going to have this many clients no matter what by this date. Okay. And the funny thing is, it's actually working, okay? It's actually, I literally manifested the, the client list that I wanted, okay? So you could literally make, um, you know, kind of make this into anything, okay? So if you want a certain number figure by a certain date, you know, write that on your list and then just manifest it. So add, say your affirmations. I will make this money by this specific date, okay? Or I will achieve this certain dream or goal by this specific date. Um, say it out loud to yourself, these affirmations, saying that you're going to achieve it every single day is going to help you actually achieve it. It's going to help you get into the mindset that you need to actually achieve it. Okay. So past the meditation. Okay. I meditate in the morning. And then what I do after that, as I say, my affirmations, and then I pray, I pray over my family. I pray over my kids. <clears throat> and then I also like to pray over the process, okay? I always ask God, you know, if you're not a um, religious person, I understand that. Um, you know, just kind of do your own praying, whatever praying is for you, whatever meditating works for you, do it, okay? But I like to pray over my family, my kids. Um, and then I ask um, for God to guide me on the journey to manifest certain things. And to help me like walk in his eyes to be able to get these things okay and it a lot of people say you shouldn't be asking god for certain things um to me i feel like that is that's it is okay to ask god for things okay but don't just ask god for a bunch of things also ask him to guide you on the journey to get there because i feel like there's a lot of enlightenment there's a lot of motivation um, to get to those specific things. And I think there's a lot of life changing things that you could also um, accomplish in your life. If you just let it and let God mold you through those things. And for me, it's been amazing because I've always wanted to become a, a, an accountability coach, which I did become a, a coach. And um, in the process, it's helped me because I've helped people change their lives. And it's helped me change my life because I love helping people now, you know what I mean? So I never thought that I would get to the point where I, uh, I would ever become a coach in general. But now that I'm here, I just love the journey. I love the fact that every single day I wake up, it's just a part of my beautiful journey. And that's what it's all about, right? So, you know, do your meditation, do your praying, um, pray on the manifestation, you know, ask God to guide you in the, what you want to manifest um, and guide you through the process, okay? 
And then I want you to visualize it as well, okay? After you're done with the praying, visualize you actually being in that, in that body figure. How does it actually feel, okay? I want you to specifically think about, okay, if I'm actually here, how does it actually feel being in this body figure, okay? For me, I want to have a multi-million dollar coaching business, okay? So I constantly manifest what it's going to feel like to be able to help millions and thousands of people in this world. To me, that's just crazy. Like I automatically get really emotional because it's it, it's almost a little scary, yeah, but I, I just want to help people, right? So my, my passion for actually serving and helping people, that would mean the world to me if I can have a multi-million dollar business helping people, okay? It's not about just the money. It's about, it's about the, the process and changing people's lives for me, okay? So visualize exactly where you, those things that you want to manifest. And then I want you to create some vision boards, okay? Vision boards help out a lot. Um, because you can actually put pictures on there. So if you want to go on a cruise, take a picture of a cruise liner. You know, if you want to go to a specific area, take a picture and take it and put it on your dream board. Okay. Um, for me, I like to have like my dream boards digitally, stuff like that. I look at I look at things that I want to achieve. You know, where I want to go. I have dream boards digitally, but you know, obviously, you know, create a dream board for yourself. You know, create a a dream board that you can actually you know, go get a poster, put a bunch of pictures on there, put a bunch of sayings that you want on there to achieve those manifestations, okay? And having that dream board that you can look at daily helps yourself, okay? So with this meditation, praying, visualizing, creating your vision board, um, you could also write a letter to yourself as well before we move on, um, just because I feel like that's also important. Write a letter to yourself of, um, what it feels like to be in that future person with the visualization that can really help as well. Okay. But what I was going to say was meditating, praying, visualizing, creating your vision board, write a letter, figure out what works for you in all of this and do what, do a few of these daily. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying that you need to do these every single day. Uh, I need to do all of these every single day, but you know, I do the meditation. I do the praying. I do the visualizing. And then I, um, and then I do my gratitude journal. Okay. So just do a few of these every single day. And what that's going to do, like I said, it's going to get you in that, in that manifesting the things that you want and figuring out how good it is to be in that body and actually get to the, the point where you can mentally and uh, cha change your mindset and mentally get to, um, the process of it. Okay. Cause the next step, step three, number three is to work towards your goals, okay? So when you create your to-do list after you've already done all of your meditating, your praying, your visualizing, your your creation of your boards, whatever, or writing a letter to yourself, is um, work, um, work towards your goals by creating a to-do list, two or three tasks a day that's gonna get you to your goals, okay? So what that means is you have to, Every single day, why don't you to put on your to-do list your two or three most important things, what you're going to do to get there, okay? So now that you have your list of things and you're asking in the universe for things, figure out what you need to do to get to that point, okay? So if you want to become a millionaire, what do you need to do to get there, okay? If you want to buy a $150,000, um, I don't think the Lamborghinis are that expensive nowadays, but... You can, you know, whatever you can buy a hundred thousand dollar truck right now. What's it gonna? What's the next step to get to that point? Okay, well, I need to make this amount of money to make to buy a hundred thousand dollar car. Okay, so that's the next step. How are you gonna do that? So right, there's two or three most important tasks during the day, and do them every day. Okay, don't put a hundred things on your to do list. Only put two or three things a day that you're gonna get to get to that point. Okay. I always teach people this and it's extremely important. Um, when we're moving towards success, all right, being consistent with two or three things every single day is going to help you become successful other than doing 10 things in a day and then not doing things for four or five days. Okay. Do things every single day on your to-do list that are going to get you to your dreams and goals. All right. Number four. 
Remember, this will take time. I want you to be patient and I want you to love the process, okay? When you have a negative thought about this, when you actually get to that point where you're thinking this manifestation thing is not gonna work, I want you to X that out, okay? Figure out what it is that's getting you on the negative page and get get rid of it, okay? Be negative in your time frame. Go sit in your room. Go do whatever, you know what I mean? But get done with, have that negative, that negative thought and move on, all right? And just be prepared to receive the blessings as well, okay? Um, just understand that, um, like I said, this is a process. It's going to take time and it's not going to happen overnight, okay? You need to be patient. You need to be willing to receive the blessings in your life, okay? And that leads me to number five is be open to receiving anything, all right? A lot of people say that, oh my God, I've tried to manifest certain things my entire life and I can't receive, I'm not receiving anything, okay? The universe is weird, okay? God puts th weird things in our life that we're not expecting, okay? So for me, I've had a lot of issues with manifesting in the past because I've wanted specific things to come into my life to um, to actually be the, that actual dream and goal, right? But understand that the universe will put specific things in your life, even if they're less than what you're expecting, to get you to that, that goal, okay? So don't be afraid to bring people in your business. Don't be afraid to bring people in your life or certain things in your life that are going to um, at least start to get you on the right track, right? Like, don't be afraid to, you know, obviously, um, don't be afraid to let things specifically in your life, okay? I know that there's a lot of things in my life that have been less than what I desired and just letting those things in my life and then letting them build up has actually achieved my dreams and goals, um, have helped me actually manifest certain things, okay? So just be open and, and to anything that the world is going to give you and just be, have open arms and understand that the, that it, sometimes it's not going to be exactly what you want. Okay. I mean, that's okay. Um, just be happy that you're getting something kind of thing. Right. Um, and that definitely could turn into something. Right. So all right, number six is keep your motivation in your dreaming high. What I mean by that is when we're going through this manifestation, understand that, like I said, you're going to have those negative thoughts. You're going to, you know, you're obviously going to have those issues where you're going to be down and you'll be like, this shit's not working. Nothing's working. Okay. Just understand that, um, keeping that motivation high, um, keeping your dreaming, your, your dream high is going to definitely help you stay on the track of actually manifesting things. Okay. So whatever it is, like I said, if you get into a bad attitude, figure out what the, why you're in that bad attitude and then move on, get back into that, that, um, motivation, dreaming high stage where, you people look at you and they're like, holy crap, that dude's on a mission. That dude is excited and that dude has a, a, a purpose for his life. Okay. You know, just keep motivated every single day with this journey. And then the last one is get rid of your doubts, right? This is a process. Okay. To becoming successful, the most important thing that I tell people is it's consistent every daily steps. Okay. If you can create daily steps that you're consistently doing every single day, you're going to become successful. You're going to become to be able to get your dreams and goals, but you have to do the consistent steps. You got to do it every day. Okay. Yes, it sucks sometimes. I'm telling you, it sucks sometimes, but guess what? The better, more positive attitude you have in this, the easier it's going to come. The more blessings are going to come in your life. Okay. So get rid of those doubts. Get rid of um, the things that are holding you back, right? If you obviously have a lot of people in your life that are holding you back from your dreams and goals, get rid of them, okay? Get rid of the things that are preventing you from achieving the dreams and goals. Get rid of the things that are that are preventing you from being able to actually accept these things in your life, okay? And remember to become at peace with yourself, and get rid of that negative self-talk, okay? Um, 
I am very guilty of this myself. I call myself an idiot all the time and I struggle with this all the time, but it's getting better. You know, um, having that, that positive self-talk is, is more important than you guys think. Okay. Um, so get rid of that negative self-talk and get rid of those doubts of manifesting certain things. Okay. So I hope you guys like this. What do you guys think about this? Right. Um, to me, the manifesting is extremely important. And I hope this really kind of gets you started for your year. Okay. If you need to listen to this, go back and listen to it. This is extremely important to, to know. That way we can reach our dreams and goals in 2022. Okay. So I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. If you already haven't done so, please like and subscribe to this podcast or share it with anybody else you might like that uh, may like it as well. Okay. And I hope you guys have a great week. Um, stay tuned on Friday. I'm going to have another podcast. I'm not going to say what it's about yet because I want you guys to um, show up and and listen. So um, remember to change yourself and find your purpose so that you can change the lives around you through your passions. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And remember to stay accountable.